My name is Nana Obrimpon Ansa, and I am just an ordinary citizen. With all the noise going on about the 2020 voters register, I took a road trip to the Volta region, specifically Ketu South, nicknamed the NDC World Bank, to find out their perspective on the matter, as well as to eat some real aqua and fertility. <laughs> Akwada during election time, people normally bring people from Togo to come and vote here. They register and vote. And about who and which party bring them here, that one there, I cannot say right now. Uh, but I know that that one, that true, that fact is there. That people normally come, plenty of people, they come to change our voting system here. When we vote, they come and choose another person for us, which is supposed to be our own duty here. And that's why they do. During election time, you see people coming to the country uh, through other routes to cast their vote, and which is really affecting us because when they come in and cast their vote, they go back and we are the we the citizens we suffer it most. So this is really affecting us. And they come to unapproved rules like uh after the do a pedido, one of the many, many unapproved routes from Togo to Ghana. This happens to be a, a place where the indigents largely are Togolese who have settled here from Togo due to the high cost of land and other economic factors. So the interesting thing we learned was this. People here actually work in Togo during the day and come back to Ghana. Um, I, I want to say specifically that uh, during general elections, you, you see movement of people from one place to the other. Uh, that is a normal issue. But uh, in the case of Katusaf, sometimes the, the numbers are alarming. They are alarming because uh, this whole process has become an agenda or program for those in opposition. Uh, they always plan this thing during registration and that is what we see on the day of elections. Ya ajoji namba wa wo ye ye. Na goma sesa na no anyi. Ala ba le onno na mo cho na togoma. Ava camp order school homa. A camp order agbloma. Anya nwi kama jo aji na mi mppito. Ta na ozubo wo ye ye a. Ajoji na mi nto. Ajoji na papa pa. Any Ghanaian that is residing in Togo or across the borders would definitely have a family member within the municipality. And so that in times of voting, if that person is able to cross, he should be able to find his way through to his family, home or uncle or grandfather or auntie. In some instances, a Ghanaian who crosses from Togo to Ghana will be kept in a classroom and who will be coached as to what to do in the course of registration. Some of these Ghanaians are kept in unknown houses and they are being released in batches to just go and register and move on. They are sometimes warned never to talk a lot more when they appear at the registration center because those who are party agents and observers will be able to pick them on based on their tone or their tonation and their dialect and what have you. And in fact, the law doesn't say that a legible voter should release his card or her card to anybody who organizes that event. 
And in some instances, you see that those who are Ghanaians, supposedly Ghanaians that we have been told, crossing from Togo to Ghana, there is a group that is going to pick all these cars that they have been given after registration. These cars are kept during voting. Then they are mobilized and these cars are given back to them after they vote. Then they have to release these cars again. Businesses go during election period because a lot of people will be in for voting. Like my mom, I'm going to pay. No, since 1996, back what that Katu Salta, NDC, NDC, my shamma da corner. I can't tell you how to make changes for them. And now, for me, voting resources it keep on changing. If you take the two political parties, now called NDC and MPP, in terms of the voter, for the changes for them, now if the NDC increase, for the MPP, I increase them. Like scores are a low max or difference I could not make. That's one number. So. I be able to make a fee because the possession at that time, they have a son, which is a former president, JJ Ronis, who hail from the water. For that matter, the southern side, as political trench goes on, I work more with the cover out. But I don't want to know even though I may cry, you probably know you by Vinton, you have a gamma, you have a one of you, I want to move you in a matter of you, Tano and you are. So I got three parties now. Quite a number. No, quite. MPP will vote. A a UVV. I can look more bossumo. And mind you, I want to tell you that now quite the just here, the population of the Kato South itself. Now to compare the voters register, the you call in a election, I quite it's not the same. My name is Dojefi Peter. Togolese. I put my, uh, my mother, father, everybody to all this. Yes, uh, I have uh, Ghana, Ghana voter ID. A Ghana come to Togo contractor to bring, uh, organize us, everybody. Uh, give us a card, tell us how to uh, vote in Ghana. So, pass border. We come there, we can vote for, for the party. I had uh, this ID card eight years. Yes, we, we are finished voting. We give uh, card back to Petrol. Uh -huh. But sometimes, you know, because uh, of personal business, in Ghana, all of that, you keep the card, you come to Ghana, maybe mobile money or something, you use your Ghana card, uh, voter's ID card. I was supposed to return the card, but uh, I kept one because I have to use for other things. Uh, they, pay, they pay us now, you know, uh, system very, very hard for our Togo. Uh, everywhere. So every small business they bring to us, we take, you know, vote. You just go vote. You don't kill a person. Mm. The money is different, different. It's not every election year the same amount. Sometimes it's different. Sometimes it's different. Maybe it can be 500. Maybe it can be 200. But you know, it's business. I can't tell how they do it, but we just uh, follow instruction from our leader. Uh -huh. you, you, you register many times, you, you get a card. When we are finished voting, you just take the, you give the card back to leader. Sometimes you keep some for personal business or something. In fact, the law doesn't say that a eligible voter should release his card or her card to anybody who organizes that event. And in some instances, you see that those who are Ghanaians, supposedly Ghanaians that we have been told, crossing from Togo to Ghana, there is a group that is going to pick all these cars that they have been given after registration. These cars are kept during voting. Then they are mobilized and these cars are given back to them after they vote, then they have to 
release these cars again. Yeah. Yeah.